When you're provisioning virtual machines, whether it be in the internal organization or on Windows Azure, one of the common approaches is to want to be able to set up multiple virtual machines that are essentially identical to each other. When you want to set up things like load balancing sets and availability sets, generally you want those systems to be identical to each other so that they're performing the same services and we don't have to install all of the same software over and over and over again. So Windows Azure does give you this ability to create a master image out of one of your existing virtual machines. So what you can do is then provision identical systems that are based on that master system. So you see here that I have a virtual machine set up and running, just called our master server. Now, note that you do have the option down below here to capture this image, but it's unavailable right now because there's some preparation that we have to do and simply the fact that the system is running as well. So this one has been set up, so we're going to remote into this one, which I've already done. And it's a standard 2008 R2 image, but just to represent some kind of change that's been made to the system, all I've done is I've gone ahead and installed the Chrome browser. So there you see that. So again, it doesn't matter if there's one piece of software installed or a hundred or hundreds of configuration changes. This system has been altered and we want to capture that so that the new systems have that same configuration. So just like any real system or within your own internal internal organization, the first thing you have to do is sysprep this system. So we're going to load our command prompt as an administrator and we're going to change to our sysprep directory. Oops. So from our sysprep directory, we're just going to execute sysprep. And what you want to set here is to uh, have the system come up as the out-of-box experience or the, we the Windows welcome. And we want to enable the generalize option. And then we're also just going to tell this to shut down since we can't capture the running system. So we're going to let that go ahead. And that'll take a few minutes. So we'll just check back when that finishes. Okay, so our sysprep has completed, and as you can see in our portal here now, the virtual machine has stopped. So we can now capture this image, and that's exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to hit capture, and then we just have to create a new image. So there's our virtual machine master server, so the image will just be master image. And we have to enable this option here that says we have sysprep the virtual machine. Now, note that the original is deleted once the image is captured. So it's a bit of a, an extra step. You, you will have to recreate a new virtual machine. But of course, now that we have the image captured, we can, we can make as many virtual machines as we want to based on this image. So we're just going to hit OK here. And then that's going to take a few minutes as well. And we'll... Let that go about its business and check back shortly. Okay, so provisioning the image didn't take all that long. And uh, you can see now we have our master image available to us. And if we go back and look at virtual machines, well, we can see right here, in fact, it's set to zero. So the virtual machine has been deleted. But now, of course, we can create new ones using the image that we just captured. So we'll just hit our new virtual machine. And to access that, you do you can't go through the quick create. You do have to go to your gallery. And of course, we've got all the pre-supplied images here that we can pick from, but these ones are set by Microsoft and the, and the, and the various partners. So what we have to look for over here in the left hand side, you see there's my images. So we can just click on that and there is our master image. So we can just choose that as our image to use and then we'll give our new server a name. We'll just call the server one. We'll let everything keep everything at pretty much the defaults. So 
As far as the cloud service goes, we can use the existing cloud service that was created with our master one, and that just, again, hosts the virtual, virtual machine. Uh, we can leave all the rest at the defaults. And we can make some changes here if we want to, like maybe just setting the default port, uh, but anything that you want to do there. So that is now provisioning a new system based on the image that we used, and that will certainly take a few minutes. So we'll let that run, and then we'll check out the results when that finishes. Okay, so that was uh, certainly a bit of a longer process, but you can see now that the server has been provisioned, it's up and running, and it was based on our master image here. And if we go back into our remote connectivity, which I've already done, we will find, dismiss this, that in fact, there we go, Google Chrome has been installed because it was based on our master image. So now we can provision as many servers as we want using that master image, and we can create quickly and easily availability sets, load balancing sets, whatever, whatever requirements you need. So quick and easy to make multiple copies of the same image by capturing a master image.